it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video. And I just want to start off by saying sorry for the lack of videos lately. Um, I've just been really, really busy. But hopefully I can get back into making videos for you guys uh, more. So um, so today we're doing an update here on my map. A lot has changed, and I mean a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy a pickup here. And... Uh, start showing you guys what's all happened. Uh, I'm recording this on Saturday the 21st. Um, I'm not sure when this is going to go up, but I need to turn my game volume down first. So, this is where the dealership's going to go. Um, I don't have the dealership building at the moment. I'm w still waiting for John Deere modding to finish that before I can put it in. But I did uh, mark out the area and then I just have a temporary uh, store spot here. Um, so I guess while we're here, we'll kind of start in this area. Um, in here, here is the Crop Production Services or CPS. Uh, when I'm actually playing on the map, uh, actually, we will place it. Um, I couldn't get this thing to work in when I put it in with Giant's Editor, so I'm just going to have to place it. Um, where is it at? I didn't take it out, did I? Hmm, I must have taken it out. But I have a per uh, placeable slurry spot that's going to go right here. I put it in with Giant's Editor, but it did not uh, function. I couldn't buy from it, so I just have to do it a little bit differently. Um, hmm. uh, here we have the bunker for pellet fertilizer. Um, and there's trigger there as well. This building, I don't know why it's white, but it is. I gotta fix that. Uh, here, right at these two doors here on the end, is where the trigger is for seed. So let's just see if we can get in here. I can show you guys. So here we got two Toyota forklifts uh, with seed boxes. Um, that way when you pull up with a seed tender you can go over here and open this door and there you go you got your uh, forklift there waiting to load you and then the trigger is there um, you know this I don't know why it's all white in here um, but then we got a bunch more seed boxes I just kind of threw these together they're not the greatest but there's they work uh, and then got another row of them here Um, and then in here we got two more forklifts with pallet forks and then here we got a row of wheat seed and then here we've got two rows of soybean seed I think soybean yeah yeah soybean um, and then here we got two rows of seed corn or no that's canola that's the canola one um, and then here we got rows of seed corn and then over here is just the loading area. And then if we go, <clears throat> if we go around to here, yeah, like I said, I don't know why it's white. I gotta fix it. I'll probably just have to re-import the building. But in here we got four J&M seed tenders, one of each color, kind of packed in there. But, um, and then this is the entrance way in here, and then there will be, uh, this entrance here is not going to be there permanently. That's just there until I get the dealership done. Uh, the real one, there will be two entrances over here, uh, eventually. I got a little texture, little ground coming up there. Um, 
So let's drive down here. Um, this ground, if there's ground like this, uh, the reason is because these roads don't quite line up. So I just did the dirt there to make it, you know, so that it's not like a giant bump or something like that. So, um, yeah, I've gotten a lot more roads put in. A uh, crap ton of street lights. Uh, there's street lights lining everywhere. There's street lights all along here. Uh, so then we got this road and we got a bunch of houses in here as well. Oh, I haven't got a white flicker there. Um, the school. I got mailboxes everywhere. Street lights everywhere. <laughs> um, and then we'll go along here. I have a temporary start point set up at this house. As you guys saw, that's just temporary until I get the real starting point uh, done. We got the Tesoro gas station here. Uh, we got a fire station. Uh, I gotta do a police department yet as well. I gotta find one. And then we got a little road that goes back here. Uh, then we got another road along here. We got a road that goes down the center uh, over there too. But I won't worry about driving along that one. There's gonna be more houses over in this grassy area. I just haven't put them in yet. Uh, I've been working on the seed and fertilizer area. Um, and then, I guess I'll just go up here. Yeah, there's a road there. <coughs> um, that'll also be houses along the one side. And then there'll be a main street eventually. And then some other businesses in different areas. Uh, if we go up here to the church, I replaced the... Um, sorry if you guys hear that noise. It's my Facebook notifications. I replaced my little custom-made uh, headstones with the ones from Sandy Bay, just because they look a lot nicer. There's still an open spot there for me to make one of my grandparents's. Uh, I need to smooth this out a little more. But if we go over here, um, there's also gonna be a row of houses along here. And then if we go you know, right about here, there's gonna be a road going straight down and then um, more houses and businesses along in here. Really getting annoying. Um, here we have the bank, uh, the Farm Bureau Bank, pretty close to the one that's in real life. Uh, I need to scale this down a little bit because it's massive. Uh, it doesn't need to be that big. Uh, and then here we got the Happy Hour Bar. Uh, this is the Linton Food Center, which is like the grocery store. Uh, and then we got the Family Dollar here. Like I said, I need to get a uh, police station because there is one in real life there's a fire station in real life uh, and then I gotta do the Morgan Sioux building which is the electrical uh, company and then if we go over here I have the welcome to Linton sign which this is exactly what it is in real life I actually got this from Flickr um, I was doing searching for a Linton, welcome to Linton sign and stuff, and I found a picture of it on Flickr, and uh, just did a little copying, pasting, cutting, and there we go. Uh, I got streetlights lining this road since it does go to town. Uh, even though it is, you know, more of a farm road. Uh, and then, you know, I don't... When I'm not recording, I don't drop frames at all, but when I record, like right now, I am dropping, you know, a maximum of 10 at the moment. Um, but that's, that's just my OBS settings. Uh, but I am happy with my frame rate so far. I'm glad that it's staying up uh, where it should be. Uh, I'm going to be adding more streetlights all along um, this road here on this side. Uh, I'll just be adding those as I go, as you see right here, because I'm using them to mark out uh, how often I have a road. So every seven streetlights, I have a road, and so that's how it'll be most of the way down. Uh, as I get nearer to that other road down there, it'll probably be more or less or something. 
Uh, let's go ahead and we'll speed up time to get to night and I can show you guys all the street lights at night. Um, as you can see, they hurt, don't give off very much light at all, but really at night you won't be in town all that much. You know, maybe you'll be to the happy hour bar or something like that. Um, which for, I, I sat and looked and looked and looked for street lights for like ages and couldn't find any that actually like put out light that weren't ginormous like ones that are you know like at like a dealership or something like that and I don't want those ones so I'm just sticking with these for now these are just off of Westbridge uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll speed up time today uh, change the sky textures I brought in some, uh, there's some that I had from 13 that I had downloaded. They were made for 13, they're HD sky textures. Uh, so here we got the day sky. Um, and here we got the sunset sky. And then we got the moon. And we got the sunrise. Um, I need to find a day where it's going to be like rainy or something. So we got to keep going some until we can get some cloud. Oh, there we got some clouds. Yikes, those are some dark clouds too. Um, so yeah, really nice sky textures. Um, and, oh, I guess I didn't show you guys this. I have a little spotlight here as well. Um, I need to make it so that the light is actually up on the sign. Uh, I've tried moving it around some, and I want to get it so it's actually, you can see the sign in the dark. But, um, haven't quite gotten that, uh, done yet. But, town is about, we're getting to halfway done, I'll say. Um, I gotta do, let's see, I gotta fix that building, and then that area will be done. I gotta... Finish houses, finish roads, finish street lights, finish all the businesses, all that stuff. I gotta do street signs, um, you know, like stop signs, um, stop signs and street signs, you know, saying Main Street or Highway This, Highway That, whatever. Um, and my Facebook is really driving me nuts right now. Um, and then, you know, just do some grass and that kind of stuff. Do some more adjustments with the roads. I don't know how to get it so that, you know, it stops flickering like this. I can't, I've tried so many different things and nothing works. I can't really bring these roads off the ground anymore because, you know, they're already barely underneath of the ground on the edges. So I can't do anything with that. You know, up close it's fine, but at a distance it's, you know, kind of goofy, but, um, oh well, I guess. Uh, and then if we go, you see we get great demands at the Linton Co-op Elevator, which is over there. Uh, and I have it in here as that. I gotta get rid of these two, but I cannot figure out how. Um, and then, yeah. So then once town's done, I'll start working on more fields I'll probably just like finish go through and finish the fields and then well I'll work on fields and the surrounding farms you know like I'll work on the farms as I go so like I'll start with the farm that's over there right there I'll start with that farm first and then um, you know then I'll put in the fields that are in over in here and then uh, there's a farm somewhere, I think right there where the road kind of goes into a, like a triangle. Um, I think there's a farm somewhere along here too. But just working on fields as I go and um, and then eventually I'll be down to nothing but the farm and Temvik. So I have to get down to the farm sometime soon and get pictures of everything and so that I can do... The, make the buildings and whatnot, but I'm happy with progress so far. Uh, I've got about probably 30, 25 to 30 hours into the map now. Um, a lot of time into it, but uh, the town is probably going to take be the thing that takes the longest, uh, just because there's a lot of 
ups and downs with these roads, a lot of ups and downs with street lights, street signs I'll have to do, and just the general placing of items that's taking a while. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's all for this video. I'll make the next video once town is done and I have gotten, uh, the farm over there put in and hopefully these fields. So, uh, like I said, hopefully I can start doing more videos more often. Um, but with my GED tests, I'm just really busy. But, uh, yeah, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to uh, check, on check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels. And make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to leave your comments down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to share the video with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.